In the last lesson, we learned how to create our first AutoIt script. In this lesson, we will be expanding on what we learned by giving our Hello World script a little more character. In the last script, we created a message box function and we set the flag parameter to zero so that it would show an OK button. As you may remember, I said I would explain in more detail later how I knew it would display an OK message. Well, that's what I'm going to do right now. As we discussed earlier, almost all functions have parameters that tell the function what we want it to do. If we want to know more about these parameters options, we can use the AutoIt's help file to get more details. To do that, we start by selecting the function we want to find more information about. I personally like to do that by double clicking on the function, like so. Once you have a function selected, you can press the F1 button and the help file will open up and display information about that particular function. When the help file comes up, you should see a page that looks similar to this. This page has all kinds of information about the message box function and how it works. What we want to look at right now is the section titled Parameters. The help file says that the flag parameter indicates the type of message box and the possible button combinations. It also says to see the remarks section to find out more. So let's go ahead and scroll down to the section titled Remarks to see what we can do with the flag parameter. If this is your first time reading a help file like this, it might seem a bit intimidating at first because there is a lot of information. Don't let this overwhelm you though. Right now, we are only concerned with two columns. The decimal flag column and the button related result column. The decimal flag column tells us what number values we can assign to the flag parameter and the button related results column tells us what kind of buttons will be shown when we change the flag parameter to one of the values set in the decimal flag column. As you can see on the first row, the help file is telling us that if we set the flag parameter to zero, then the message box will display an OK button. And that is exactly what our message box is doing now. Now look at the second row. It is telling us if we set the flag parameter to one, our message box will display both an OK button and a cancel button. Let's test to see if this works. Go back to our original script and change the flag from 0 to 1. This should add a cancel button to our message box. Once you have updated the flag parameter, run the script to see if it works. Remember, to run a script, we select Tools from the menu and then Go. If everything worked right, when you run your script, you should see a message box that looks like the one shown here. If it worked, go ahead and close the message box and go back to the help file for the message box function. Then, scroll back down to the remarks section. As you can see, there are quite a few options for changing the message box buttons. Play around with these combinations for a while to see what kind of button combinations you can make. After you have had a chance to play with the different button combinations for a while, and if you are a member of MrAutoIt.com, take the test for this lesson. You should also take the skill test titled Make a message box with custom buttons. 
You can do that by logging into the members only area of MrAutoIt.com. From the members only area, select Earn from the menu on the left hand side. Then select Skill Test. Once you are in the skill test area, just click on the skill test called Make a Message Box with Custom Buttons and follow the directions. In the next lesson, we will cover adding even more custom options to our Hello World script.